hey, guess what? I'm going to go see Star Wars today. So far, I've done a pretty good job of avoiding spoilers, but uh, I have heard a few people online saying that they're pretty disappointed with this new Star Wars movie here. But, uh, how's it going? Let's get my $13. There you go, man. <laughs> That's not a dance. Think this is going to be good? I think so. I'm up for it. Do you think it's going to be better than Justice League? Uh... Yeah, the movie's not that good. Hey guys, I'm Jared Poirier, and welcome to my movie review channel where I talk about movies. So I just saw Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, and I gotta say guys, I'm pretty disappointed this time. And that sucks because I was really excited to see this movie, and I really wanted this movie to be good, guys. But to me, being honest with you guys is really, really important, and I can't lie to you guys, Episode 8 is a pretty crappy movie. So I literally walked out of Star Wars about an hour ago, and the disadvantage of shooting this review so quick after seeing the movie is I don't have a lot of time to really think about it. But in this case, I don't think that I really need to. And I'm kind of glad that I can just go right into this review and tell you guys exactly what I thought about this movie. And normally I break my reviews down into categories, but this time I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning of the movie, and I'm gonna run through it, and I'm gonna just tell you guys what I thought. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I didn't like about this movie. Then I'll talk about some of the good stuff in this movie, cause there is a bit of good stuff. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on Star Wars Episode Eight. So the movie opens with this big space fight and this opening space fight is actually really cool. And it's not just the effects. There's a lot of moments of real tension, some good character interaction and some pretty creative shots. And in this space battle, you have uh, Poe Dameron here and he decides to go against Princess Leia's orders. And he destroys one of the Empire's huge ships. Oh, oh yeah, they're not called the Empire. They're called like the First Order or whatever. Is that really what they're called, the First Order? Anyway, he destroys one of their ships, but it's against Leia's orders. And uh, there's a lot of casualties on the Rebel side as well as a result. And there are some Imperial officers that are pretty upset that Poe destroyed their ship. Oh yeah, guys, we gotta talk about the Imperial officers in this movie. The Imperial officers in this movie are like hilarious, but like not in a good way, like a horrible type of hilarious where they just suck. So right away you have a pretty interesting dynamic developing between Poe and Leia, and uh, I liked that right off the top. So right away I was pretty invested in this movie. So you've got the Rebels once again going up against the First Order here, and that's one of the big storylines in this movie. But you also have Rey, and Rey has gone to see Luke Skywalker on like this island somewhere. Cause she wants to bring Luke Skywalker to like fight against the First Order, fight on the side of the Rebellion once more. I should have mentioned that I'm sick. Guys, I'm super sick, but you could probably tell that. Anyway, so Rey wants Luke Skywalker to like come fight for the Rebellion, or like train her or whatever, or she like wants to know her place in all this. Anyway, she's there on this island with Luke Skywalker for like a lot of this movie, but we'll get back to that later. So yeah, at the beginning of the movie, you're a little bit interested in what Rey's doing on that island with Luke and why he won't really talk to her. And you're interested in Leia, and you're interested in Poe Dameron right off the top. I mean, there's some pretty cool action stuff as well. But there's something that happens pretty early on in this movie. And yeah, guys, I guess there's just gonna be tons of spoilers in this. I'm just going through the movie, so I'm gonna spoil stuff. So like pretty early on in the movie, it's revealed that the First Order can like detect uh, rebellion ships even when they transport through like hyperspace or whatever. So they just show up with like some giant fleet like right behind the rebels and they blow up the ship that Leia's in and she gets like totally blown out into space and you think she's dead. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty incredible that they decided to kill Leia in that way. Like that kind of took some balls, you know? But then they just like totally ruin it. Oh guys, it was, uh, this just totally took me out of the movie. Like. Leia is floating in space and then like her eyes open and uh, she like uses the force to go back into the spaceship and I'd have to like double check I'd have to watch it again to really be sure but I'm pretty sure that there's not even like an airlock or anything they just like open the door and let her into the spaceship guys it was so stupid like I think the movie lost me right there anyway but I tried to press on I tried to you know keep interested in the movie keep engaged 
So we should probably talk about Finn. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff with Finn in this movie. None of it really has a point. He meets this like Asian girl and she's like in love with him. Uh, she's a super unlikable character. Like she totally sucks. She just has a bit of anxiety and they like try to build up her backstory, but it's like pretty pointless. Yeah, the stuff with Finn and this new Asian girl is some of the worst stuff in this movie. They go to this like weird casino and there's like these weird like rabbit horse things that are racing at the casino. And the girl mentions that she doesn't like the people at the casino because they like sell weapons to the first order or whatever. I don't know, it's all completely pointless stuff. And then they set these like rabbit antelope horse things free and the antelope horse things just start like running all over the casino wrecking stuff. And at that moment I was like, what am I watching? Is this Star Wars? It honestly felt like I was watching the Smurfs or something, like one of those kids movies where they just like pad the running time with like a bunch of the characters doing random stuff. Yeah, honestly, like the Smurfs or like uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks or something like that. Like guys, it was that weird, it was that bad. So yeah, most of the Finn stuff throughout the movie is pretty pointless. And there's uh, some pointless Finn stuff at the end too. So yeah, I said earlier that like, at first I kind of liked Poe. Um, they, the movie totally ruins that. After Leia dies, there's like this weird power struggle. There's this new character who's introduced. Uh, I'm just gonna call her Purple Hair Lady. She's horrible. Totally miscast or something. I don't know. She's totally unlikable. And then like, I'd say that you're supposed to not like her, but then later you're supposed to like her. Purple Hair Lady, she sucks. Anyway, there's like this weird office drama stuff between her and Poe. It's really pointless and stupid. And I just don't really know who I'm supposed to like. Like, I, don't, I just don't like anybody. But let's get back to Ray because a lot of the Ray stuff in the first half of this movie is super boring. Ray spends a good majority of this movie just screwing around on an island with Luke Skywalker. Like, guys, they literally do nothing. They go fishing at one point. And, like, this island is supposed to be where there's, like, this super sweet Jedi temple. It's just total crap. They're just on an island, guys. Like, I felt like I was watching the most boring parts of Lord of the Rings at times. Yeah, there's just so many new characters in this and none of them are good. There's this new code breaker character who they need to like break a code. I don't know, it's this whole like pointless subplot. And he just like helps them break a code to like get onto the Imperial ship or something. Or not the Imperial ship, First Order ship. And then he just like betrays them. Uh, it's completely pointless. And I know that I'm using that word a lot, but it is. Oh yeah, we definitely have to talk about Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren sucks in this movie. His character is so boring. He's just this like whiny, angsty, emo teenager. There's really nothing compelling about his character at all. He's mad at Luke Skywalker for something. He's mad at Snoke for something else. And he just has all these little temper tantrums and stuff all the time. Like this guy's supposed to be the new Vader. Give me a break. So yeah guys, there's a whole bunch of really crappy new characters. There's a bunch of like really stupid jokes. There's a whole bunch of like stupid kitty moments. There's a bunch of just screwing around and like pointless stuff that adds nothing to the story. And even the established characters that are like pretty good, you know, like Rey's all right, but is she good enough to carry the entire Star Wars franchise? I just don't think so, guys. All right, so that's it for the negative stuff. Let's talk about the stuff that was okay in this movie. Um, all of the stuff that you expect to be good was pretty good. Disney probably has the best effects teams in the world at their disposal. So the effects in this movie are pretty fantastic. Snoke actually looks really, really good. There's some close-ups of him and he has like these little hairs on his face and stuff like that. The CG is pretty convincing. Even the clothes he wears, I'm pretty sure are CG. I'm pretty sure that Snoke is a completely CG character. And uh, yeah, he just looks pretty great. Uh, there are some good physical sets in this movie as well. Inside of the First Order ships and all of that type of stuff looks really good. Uh, inside the Rebel bases as well looks good. Snoke's chamber in particular is really cool. Really cool physical set here. Uh, the music is good. It's uh, mostly a John Williams score, I think. Probably all John Williams. The action stuff is all really good. The space battles are pretty excellent and there's some really good and creative shots uh, implemented in those space battles. The lightsaber fights are also really good. One highlight is the fight where Rey and Kylo Ren actually team up. Uh, they kill Snoke and then they fight a bunch of members of his guard. And you finally get to see those red Imperial Guard style uh, fighters actually do something. And they get in an awesome fight with Rey and Kylo Ren here. Uh, this is one of the most visceral lightsaber fights that's ever been put to film. And I really enjoyed that. Like, I was like, hey, that's a pretty good lightsaber fight, you know? So yeah, uh, this is the way that things progress. Luke sees quite a bit of evil in Rey and he refuses to train her, so 
She gives up and leaves. The Rebellion are almost completely obliterated. Uh, Leia ends up recovering. Yoda shows up and burns all of the ancient scrolls of the Jedi. And then Luke shows up at like the last possible moment and he confronts Kylo Ren, but it's really just like a hologram or like a force projection or something of Luke. And the whole thing is just like a distraction so that the remaining members of the Rebellion can get away. And that's your movie, guys. Sorry for spoiling it, but you know, if you didn't want spoilers, I told you not to watch this video. And at the end of the movie, like, it really wants you to feel inspired or whatever, because like, the Jedi and the Rebellion live on. But I wasn't inspired, because the movie gave me no reason to be inspired, because this is a really boring, badly written Star Wars movie. And it has a lot of really bad characters, and a lot of really ridiculous kitty moments. At times, it felt like I was watching a parody of Star Wars that didn't just go all the way like Spaceballs or something. I would have probably rather watched Spaceballs. Star Wars Episode 8 isn't good, guys. Uh, it's worse than Justice League, I think. At least at the end of Justice League, I walked out like feeling kind of excited. At the end of this movie, I just felt depressed. And I really wanted to like this movie, guys. Like, I really tried to get invested in this movie. But at the end of the day, Star Wars Episode 8 is a disappointment.